Hi, my name is Victor Albaum and this is my climb. I worked with CLIMB in 2011 from August to December. So that was nine years ago. And I was an actor educator. I was thinking about what was most special and I, I would say the people that I got to work with. We had a great group and I believe one of them is actually the head of the actors, actor educators now, Al Warren. So I, I was with her when she began. Yeah, the people, I have such great such wonderful fond memories of everyone and you know uh, that was quite a quite a fall <laughs> i'd say i have a lot of good memories i loved getting to work with the children and um, getting to see the different schools and getting to travel a little bit in the midwest and just getting to see where people were at and uh, bringing what we had to offer to those schools and seeing people really changed from it so since CLIMB, I moved um, to New York City. I actually was living in New York before, but then I moved back. And I've been here now, I guess, 10 years, including that time I was gone in, at CLIMB. I ended up doing more regional theater. Um, I did a tour and some regional theater. And then in about 2016, I decided to move more into film TV. And so I was um, a co-star on the, the Bay of the Series, which is a Emmy award-winning, daytime Emmy award-winning uh, soap opera, but it's on new media. It's on Amazon Prime. And then I ended up doing a co-star on um, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt on Netflix. And then this past year, I created, produced, and started my own web series sitcom about my life as a brand ambassador in New York City. And it's gone on to win a bunch of awards, including the Telly Award, alongside content by Comedy Central. It was nominated for eight Indie Series Awards and it's been accepted to a bunch of film and web fests, including the Minnesota Web Fest. I think CLIMB gave me a sense of how to interact with people and how to get what you want, actually. <laughs> I was thinking about uh, this, and I don't remember all the specifics, but I remember during my training uh, to be an actor educator at CLIMB, we focused on making sure when we asked a child what we wanted from them, it wasn't that we didn't use the word want, we didn't use the word we desire, it was the word I need, or need specifically. And that has stuck with me since uh, leaving CLIMB. I use it in emails, I use it in social interactions. That might sound silly, but it is something that has stuck with me that this whole time. And I think it's just important um, to remember that like when, speaking with someone, uh, a child or adult. If you think about actor educator, we were going into classrooms, <laughs> performing, educating, but also performing for 45 minutes to an hour. And that just really taught me how to, um, to perform on your feet in theater and in real life. Just being able to take what comes at you. That time at CLIMB really helped me develop those skills as someone who could adapt to the situations that were coming at me at the in the moment that was invaluable so i um i feel like i use a lot of those skills even now i think it's important for people to donate to climb because of the mission of what you guys are doing children need this education they need these services that climb provides they need people to come in there and and talk about bullying and talk about the environment and talk about cyber bullying i remember I, when i was at climb in 2011 that was just becoming a big thing and just now 2020 and looking how how much life has changed but that is a constant climb does a service that i you know some children say that we were the first theatrical performance they'd ever seen in a classroom i think that's really important for children to get that to to see live theater wherever it be in a classroom setting in a theater while you're doing it you're educating them on on a subject that they may not have the answers for and you may provide that every time i went into a classroom there was always a child that i knew i made a difference in their life i always found someone that was really touched by what we were talking about and needed that it's not very often that you see it live being performed for you and explaining how you can change your actions. 
think that's very powerful. I think for any age group, they, they need it more now than ever, especially with everyone being virtual, so many schools going virtual. Those social skills are important and having someone talk about those things with you, whether it's through virtual or in person is very important. My climb has been a life-changing experience. Donate to Climb Theater to help others on their climb.